Welcome back, citizens. This is Dr. Daryl Barnes, and we're going to talk about blood sugar and stress just for a few minutes. We are not going to stay in the problem the whole time. We are going to focus on solutions by the time we get done with this, so stay tuned for just a few minutes. Let's talk about the pancreas, which is located in the abdomen, and let's also talk about the adrenal glands, which are located on top of the kidneys bilaterally. We're going to specifically talk about the adrenal cortex before we get done. That's supposed to be a kidney right there. The pancreas is an exocrine and an endocrine gland, both of those, and it does release digestive enzymes into the duodenum. That's really not the focus of this whole discussion right here. We're really talking about the endocrine element of the pancreas and what it does. The islet cells, which are actually in the minority in the pancreas, secrete polypeptide hormones, and some of those are as follows. The alpha cells of the islet secrete glucagon, which helps to mobilize blood sugar. Beta cells secrete insulin, which help to diminish sugar in the blood. And somatostatin is kind of a Systemic shutdown system, growth hormone inhibiting hormone is another name for that. Here is where I want to relate it to our everyday life. You know, tell me how this fits into my daily life. If we live in fear, this can be transmitted to the hypothalamic area from different parts of the brain. It can be actually generated in the hypothalamus itself. One of the long term effects of stress is the release of corticotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus which induces adrenocorticotropic hormone release from the anterior pituitary. Let's talk about what happens next. The adrenal cortex releases aldosterone and it also releases cortisol in response to stress, long-term stress. So big aldosterone basically is a sodium conserver. Na plus one is the chemical symbol for that. And by conserving sodium, it also conserves water and thus increases blood pressure. Cortisol from the adrenal cortex raises blood glucose. Some of the end results include us grabbing and snatching for chocolate, sugar, caffeine to try somehow to regulate our energy levels. The, the problem is a lot of times when we, we, we eat these things, it causes our blood sugar to rise rapidly. And then as it rapidly declines, we get hypoglycemic symptoms. If blood sugar gets very out of control. It's called diabetes mellitus. And as the transport maximum of sugar is exceeded in the kidney, it results in polyuria. That means too much urination. That's because there's sugar in the urine. It pulls water into the urine and increases the volume. Because food is not being stored in the cells by insulin, it produces hunger. Lots of eating and also this loss of water produces polydipsia, which is thirst. What are some of the solutions? If, if this is a severe problem, medical help is needed. Please get that. But let's talk about the majority of us just on a daily basis. How can we regulate this sugar issue and, and help diminish some of the stress that we perpetuate in these vicious cycles in our lives, decrease raw sugar. This is kind of difficult to do, easy to say, hard to do. If we exercise, if we go walking, if we take the stairs, that helps to burn down some of the free sugar. And as far as stress issues, I want to talk about meditation and I want to talk about positive meditation. And when I say meditation, I don't mean something that's really strange to you. I just mean, what is it that I am thinking about? What is it that you're thinking about on a regular basis? Am I feeding my brain positive emotions, emotions of love? If I'm not, if I'm feeding my 
brain emotions of hate or fear, then it could be that I'm kind of contributing myself to keeping this entire cycle of blood sugar and stress stirred up. I don't want to be part of the problem. I honestly would like to be part of the solution. I know you do too. Comment in YouTube, subscribe, like, comment, and share. This is what creates a lovely community. I'm so thankful that you're here. Please keep coming back and tell other people about this.